lovely people, welcome or welcome back to another Story Study Saturday. I'm Sammy and I'm a writer who likes to learn about writing through reading and share what I learn with you. This week we're going to be talking about a book that absolutely blew up on BookTok and Bookstagram last year around this time, which is The X-Hex. The sequel is now out. I didn't get a chance to read it last year for spooky season, so I may as well read it this year for spooky season. So here we are a few days before Halloween. I never really looked into anything about it, which is how we ended up here, really. I, n I didn't look into like what the story was about. I didn't look into why people were really into it. I just saw that it was like really popular and I hadn't been straight wrong yet by TikTok, but I have now and the times have changed a little bit in terms of what books are getting recommended on TikTok and Instagram and why. In case you are better than me and you would like to know a summary of this book, here is one. When a newly discovered witch has a magical summer romance that ends with her heart breaking into a thousand pieces, she breaks a sacred rule. Don't mix vodka with witchcraft. She puts a curse on her ex, but has no reason to think about it until nine years later when he returns to her small town and the curse takes effect on both him and their cozy little Halloween town. Can they reverse it before it's too late? Also, there's a lot of spice. There's a lot of spice in this book. So let's get into my thoughts. I honestly thought that the conflict was really interesting. I thought that the relationship, the reason why this curse happened and actually like came true, even when there was no actual witch witchcraft practices being done when they made the curse. The fact that the curse didn't affect him outside of the city. All of these little details were really interesting. And honestly, the way that the conflict was resolved was also super interesting. I was a big fan of that. And I'm not gonna go any deeper in that, just that I was a fan. I also adored Vivi's cousin, Gwen. Exactly what you would want out of like a millennial witch in this day and age. I adore her. Every time she was in the scene, she either like totally pulled some character development out of Vivi or Reese, the guy. It was always like so perfectly eloquent in the way that she is who she is and not necessarily like, hey, we need some character development. It was all very like, Gwen is a real person and she's really interacting with these couple of idiots and that's just sort of what happens. And then if she wasn't pulling out character development, she was literally just the funniest person in the room and like 10 out of 10, I would love to be her friend. She seems like a blast. I also just really liked the town that they're in where this is set. It's the perfect setting for wanting to read something that's Halloween-y. The town has the same vibes as when you were like a kid and Disney Channel would be like, we're gonna play all three Halloween Town movies. And then you'd come home from school and you'd be like ready to watch Halloween Town. It's got the same energy as that experience. And it's just, it's exactly what you need for wanting to experience Halloween without having like, oh, I gotta go to a party. Party, I gotta get a costume, I gotta do all, like it's got all of the fun parts of Halloween without any of the stressors of the holiday and without like being the scary kind of Halloween, which I'm not that girl. I'm a cozy Halloween girl and this is definitely that. Some things that I think can be improved about this particular book. For one, I genuinely wish there was more plot. I know why the book talk people were all about this book last year. I understand why they were there. That's not a reason that I go to books and I honestly just wasn't prepared for the amount of spice in this book, but it didn't show up until I was already invested in the actual plot. So it just was like, hey, you wanna know how this plot goes, but you gotta get through all of this before you find something that's actually important. And I understand why other people wanted that. I understand why other people really enjoyed this book. I get it, but I am not those people. And I was, I just wanted more plot and that's not what this book was for. So another thing that I think could be improved that's within the realm of what this book was actually for is that Reese is the most man written by a woman character that I have ever read. He is literally just like what an ideal guy would be without like any of the real things that make people people. He's just like an ideal. Even his flaws that are like the main conflict of his perspective, the flaw that he has that causes strife between him and Vivi is not like enough of a flaw. He only has the one. So when he solves that flaw, he's just like the perfect man. And I, ugh, 
Like, why, why should I care about what happens to him when he's not conflicted in any real way? Like, sure, he's got daddy issues, but like, doesn't everybody? It doesn't actually affect how his character interacts with the other characters in the story besides his dad. So it's like, why are we here? But honestly, my main issue came from the fact that I didn't look into what the book was. So I don't really have that many things that I think can be improved because this book just wasn't actually for me. So I will not be reading the sequel just because I've, I've done my thorough research now and this isn't the type of book that I am about. So what can writers learn from this book? Because there's always something that a writer can learn from reading a book. Any good, bad, not your taste, is your taste, all of them you can learn something. For one, write the book that you want to read. Honestly, that's a lesson that you can get from any book that you don't enjoy is write the book that you want to read because the author wanted to re read this book. That's why it came into existence. The author wanted this to be something that was real. It was something that they wanted to read in the world and that wasn't out there yet. And people love this book. I, I'm not one of those people and that's okay, but people do enjoy this book. Somebody wanted to read this book and that's why it's in existence. I think that's awesome because if you're like, oh, nobody's gonna wanna read this book. If you wanna read it, if you want to read the story that you were wanting to tell, somebody else is gonna wanna read it. There are too many people in this world for people to not have similar taste in a story as you as you're writing a story. So don't let anything hold you back from writing the story that you want to tell. Another thing is that sometimes the more unrealistic stories do really well just for the sake of escapism and like having that fun time. Because I'm not going to say that this book wasn't fun. It's just that there were some parts that were like a little bit out of my comfort zone and that's okay. But it was a fun story, like a fun general concept, general world, all of that stuff. It's super unrealistic, but it's a blast. Like they put witches into our regular everyday world and then we just got to see how they interacted. It's a win from me. But that is all that I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. It'll really help me out. Have you read The X-Hex? Yeah, you gotta tell me. Have you read it? Did you read it for the reason why all the people on BookTok read it? Have you not read it for the reasons why people on BookTok read it? Let me know, let's have a chat. Do you have any other like Halloween, like not scary Halloween, but like cozy Halloween books that you would recommend? I really just wish there were more that were on my radar and I just don't have very many. Definitely. Definitely let me know. If you don't want to miss any of my uploads, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. I'm here every Tuesday for Writing Tip Tuesdays and every Saturday for Story Study Saturdays, like this one. So I will see you guys on Tuesday for a Writing Tip video.